please subscribe and declare that I am assent to and will obey and abide by the Constitution and canons which have been or shall be from time to time passed by the provincial synod of the Holy Catholic Church and the Temple. I, Edmund Agassir Sundara Rajan Jaira, solemnly declare that I have not made by myself or by any other person on my behalf any faith, contract, or promise of any kind whatsoever, which to the best of my knowledge and belief is unknown yet, touching or concerning the preferment of consecration to the sacred order of bishops, nor will I at any time hereafter perform or satisfy in whole or in part any such kind of payment, contract, or promise made by any other without my knowledge or consent. In the name of God, Amen. I, Edmund Augustus Sundararajan Jaira, chosen bishop of the missionary diocese of the Indian diaspora, do profess and promise to hold and maintain the doctrine, sacraments, and discipline of Christ that the Lord has commanded in His holy will, and as the Holy Catholic Church and we can write as we see and set forth the same. And I do promise all due reverence and obedience to the bishop of this province and to his successors. So help me God through Jesus Christ. The peace to the Lord be always with thee. And to thy spirit. Brethren, it is written in the Gospel of St. Luke that our Savior Christ continued the whole night in prayer before he chose and sent forth his twelve apostles. It is written also that the holy apostles prayed before they ordained Matthias to be of the number of the twelve. Let us therefore follow in the example of our Savior Jesus Christ and his apostles, offer up our prayers to Almighty God before we admit and send forth this person presented unto us, the work there whereunto we trust the Holy Ghost at Calvin. Please. 
the numbers of the ministers of thy church, that the gospel may be preached to all people. That it may please thee to hasten the fulfillment of thy purpose, that thy church may be one. We beseech thee to hear us, O Lord. That it may please thee to grant that we with all thy saints may be partakers of thy everlasting kingdom. We beseech thee to hear us, O Lord. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hearken unto our voice, O Lord, when we cry out to Thee. Have mercy upon us, and hear us. O Lord, arise, help us. Will you then faithfully exercise yourself 
in the Holy Scriptures and call upon God by prayer for the true understanding of the same, so that you may be able by them to teach and exhort the wholesome doctrine and to withstand and convince gainsayers. I will so do by the help of God. Are you ready, with all faithful diligence, to banish and drive away from the church all erroneous and strange doctrine contrary to God's word, and both privately and openly to call upon and encourage others to the same? I am ready, the Lord being my helper. Will you deny all ungodliness and worldly lusts, and live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, that you may show yourself? in all things an example of goodness, good works, and to others, that the adversary may be ashamed, having nothing to say against you. I will so do, the Lord being my helper. Will you maintain and set forward as much as shall lie in you, quietness, love, and peace among all men, and diligently exercise such discipline as by the authority of God's word and by the order of this church, is committed to you. I will so do with the help of God. Will you be faithful in ordaining, sending, or laying hands upon others? I will so be with the help of God. Will you show yourself gentle and be merciful for Christ's sake to poor and needy people and to all strangers destitute of hell? I will so show myself by God's help. Please stand. My be God, our Holy Father, who hath given you a good will to do all these things, grant also unto you strength and power to perform the same, that he accomplishing in you the good work which he hath begun, you may be found perfect and irreprehensible at the latter day, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.